Law Warrior Armor. Scorpion Light Tank. Overview. The Scorpion Light Tank is another vehicle from the successful Quicksell company. As is typical with all of their products, the Scorpion is small, inexpensive, and easy to repair. The Scorpion has earned the name Budget Tank because it's so inexpensive compared with most tanks using only one main weapon and one defensive weapon that the Scorpion's low cost makes it attractive to buyers from poorer worlds, especially the Bandit Kings and Periphery Pirates. Aside from its attack functions, the Scorpion also performs well as a scout or transport vehicle. Field commanders often use the tank in large groups because the individual Scorpion is weak in relation to most other vehicles. Capabilities the Scorpion isn't a particularly effective vehicle, though it can fight well enough against other similar units. The tank's main weapon, the Delion Autocannon, can inflict marginal damage against targets at fairly long range, but it has the typical tracking problems of any autocannon at ranges of less than 90 meters. The 20mm Gatling gun is a time-proven weapon, giving the Scorpion good defensive firepower with plenty of punch. Though some users of the tank have tried 30mm machine guns, the Gatling gun's high rate of fire makes larger shells unnecessary. Unlike most tanks of its weight class, the Scorpion lacks any SRM racks, so effective in killing light vehicles. This was done because Quicksell wanted to keep cost down, and because the autocannon has double the range of any short-range missile. Battle History Bandit Kings sometimes become more than a minor nuisance to the five success awards. Whenever one of them becomes too great of a threat, the Lord will send out an assault force to remind such a king just how powerless he really is. Helmar Valasek is one of these. For months he had been raiding Curita worlds in search of water for his desert dry planets. When the High Command realised what was going on, they decided it was time to teach the bandit a lesson. Mobilising a small mech force, the Curita leaders jumped into the Santander system and landed on Helmar's home planet of Santander 5. When word of the Curita force reached Helmar, he immediately devised a plan that might give him a chance against the invaders without requiring the sacrifice of any of his own mechs so badly in need of parts and repair. He had recently borrowed several platoons of Scorpion light tanks, which he set up secretly in a known storage supply area. Valasek believed this to be an obvious choice for a Curita punitive attack. Ten hours after jumping into the system, the Curita troops assaulted Valasek's ambush zone. The moment the Curita troops touch down, the bandits' scorpions open fire at close range, dealing heavy damage to the invading mechs. Because the Curita mechs were outnumbered, more than three to one, there was nowhere to retreat, the combined troops went into hand-to-hand -hand combat against the small tanks. Casualties were high on both sides. When the dust settled, however, Valasek had scavenged some mech parts, and the Curitans had persuaded him not to attack their worlds for the time being. This battle became known as the Scorpion's Nest, and is now a popular training exercise for new Curita mech warriors. It teaches how to deal with swarms of small vehicles, and how to remain cool in combat. Variants Because the Scorpion is found in most armies, it's often equipped with the house's preferred weapon. The most popular variant replaces the autocannon with SRM racks. Notable vehicles and crew Rummage Sail Rummage Sail is the name of a scorpion made famous as a courier and messenger tank during all the battles for Homestead Station. Rummage Sail has never once sustained damage. Jalex Schenker and Parson Smith. These two men are the owners of one of the largest scorpion suppliers and repair services in the Inner Sphere. Operating in Davian Space near Terra, Schenker and Smith have won all of their scorpions through various games of chance. <laughs>